Welcome everyone back to another Battlefield 4 informational video. So today we are catching up on some brand new news about Battlefield 4, this time regarding the transfer between current gen and next gen systems and Battlefield 4 Premium. So first of all let's start off with the transfer between current gen and next gen. Now I did speak about this previously a little bit um, where it wasn't really clear whether or not DICE was actually going to go for this idea because it's not so bad. I mean you rank up on say PS3 or Xbox 360 and you get to a certain level you gone through the uh, unlock progression system you got some stats and you're doing quite well. You want to obviously take that through to the next gen systems and that's perfectly reasonable so I don't see why they wouldn't want to go ahead and and do that so what they've done today is come out and announce that they are going to do exactly that whatever system you're on uh, PS3 Xbox 360 you can now transfer your stats and unlock and progression um, from current gen to next gen which is very very exciting even though I'm not going to straight away get the next gen systems if I do happen to pick up Battlefield 4 maybe on the current gen which I very highly doubt but either way um, you can now transfer your stats across so let's move on to Battlefield 4 Premium. I think we all had maybe an idea this was going to happen after Battlefield 3's Premium was such a massive hit with what I believe is just over 9 million subscribers to the program which is absolutely insane. Now of course as we all know the Premium content package brought uh, 3 monthly content drops of expansion packs which were the new weapons, new vehicles, new maps, new environment to play in which was amazing. I liked all of them from back to Carcan to Endgame. Obviously Close Quarters wasn't the massive hit with me. I didn't really believe it was Battlefield um, in that expansion pack but either way I did enjoy playing on all of them. Then with that on top you also got the monthly in between content drops of bonus um, content which the first one was pretty good. It brought a new knife the ACB90 which I liked. I like the idea of bringing new melee weapons. Maybe they could have done new attachments instead of just some camos for some weapons and some artwork which wasn't really that great. So it kind of went downhill with there but you also got the videos the uh, strategy guides which were it was amazing the premium package really delivers with what you paid for it so they'll probably go with the same lines on this one they have stated though with the membership players can expect uh, themed digital expansion packs new weekly content and personalization options so you not only get the expansion packs obviously that's a given uh, how many they decide to do this time i do not know but I would assume they're going to do a few more than last time. Uh, weekly content, so every week you're going to get something new, probably camos, uh, melee weapons, and probably character customization options with the personalization options, um, which could be practically anything. Now, you can expect to hear all these details on August the 20th. Um, you can go to www.ea.com forward slash gamescom to um, catch the press conference when they're going to show off the trailer which uh, will most likely tease the expansion packs as they did last time that brought up the internet onto its knees about the trailer and everything blew up after that the battlefield 3 one of course which was amazing um, so i'm very very looking forward to that i hope you are too that's all i have for you today i hope you enjoyed the video thank you very much for watching and as always until next time